in Africa, for example, only about 5% of people have regular access to internet. But uh, about 90% of the population lives somewhere now covered by a cell phone signal. So the idea is, can we let people use a cell phone to do things that you normally would need an internet-connected PC to do? And that's the intent behind this sort of technology. With the spread of mobile technology around the world, uh, people uh, everywhere are thinking about how to leverage that to promote better health. And whether that's supporting and strengthening health systems so that better information is available in a more timely way, or whether that's uh, letting uh, patients uh, directly use their phone to uh, get information that they need. Uh, there are, uh, mobile health is really exploding now. And it's funny, you know, you don't even have to ask people if they have their mobile phone. I used to, when I spoke to groups, I said, raise your hand if you've got a mobile phone, but it's always 100%. So I'm going to let people get their mobile phones out, and they're going to take a, a short survey uh, on their mobile phone. Uh, it's a diabetes risk assessment. It's a WHO protocol that's sort of shortened for demonstration purposes. And they're going to text a keyword in. They're going to text the word risk uh, into 311411. If you're in the United States, you can try that yourself. And uh, they will get a series of questions back and forth by SMS on their mobile phone. And uh, after they answer those questions, we're going to go on the internet, log into a system, and see their data and, and, and that they just submitted on the phone. These are some simple graphs of the data, and every one of your submissions is inside this graph already. And so again, we could be sitting anywhere in the world, as long as we had internet access and the credentials to see this data, and we could go in and have a real-time sense of what's going on with people taking this risk assessment. But with this explosion of mobile phones, the possibilities for systems like this are also really interesting. People doing risk assessments, people being reminded uh, to take their medications, uh, people getting education about different uh, health conditions and other things. With mobile, there's immediacy. Uh, the internet is great, but when that phone buzzes in your pocket, <laughs> Uh, you pull it out and you see what the text message says. And so the ability to get people's attention, to cut through the clutter, uh, and to give them information right at the time when they need it. It's time to take your medicine. It's time to come back for a follow-up visit. Uh, there has been an outbreak and, and uh, an event has happened. A threshold has passed. We need to deal with this. There's an immediacy to mobile that I think really adds to the other sorts of data channels. HealthMap is a project based at a children's hospital in Boston, Massachusetts that tracks health alerts and disease outbreaks that are occurring worldwide based on news feeds from both official all the way to unofficial types of sources, official media from validated sources such as the World Health Organization, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control, and then we also receive these media alerts that often come in before uh, more official channels have even heard about them. So articles from Google News, articles from Moreover News, and we provide a visualization tool where users can specify what they want to see on this map. Our iPhone application that came out, Outbreaks Near Me, it's one of the only tools out there where people can track influenza on the go, where it uses your GPS, your actual location, and it's not just for H1N1 novel influenza A, but our whole list of diseases where if you're traveling, it will read your location, it, it can ping you or send you a push alert. If you enter an area where there's an outbreak going on or an alert present, it'll let you know of that. It's really something really unique. I think it's going to be really useful, especially what we're hoping is in parts of the world where everyone isn't sitting on their laptop having access to the internet. Parts of the world such as Africa, people are more likely to have a cell phone and able to send a text message regarding a disease alert out in the middle of nowhere than they would be to get on a laptop, have great high-speed internet, and get that information out to someone. So we're hoping that this might be a way to get information out from areas that otherwise we might not be getting this information from. For the mobile industry, um, this is about doing more things on your phone and more uh, messaging and, and uh, other data going over the phone. And so 
Uh, they, the mobile industry has been forward-looking on this, and they've been generous. They've donated uh, messages. They've donated airtime in various settings. But I think there is a sustainable business case to be made that over the long term, this is going to be good for public health uh, and good for uh, the mobile industry because of increased uh, traffic. I think in the health uh, side, uh, you getting data that is uh, more timely, uh, that is more complete, that is actionable, uh, is going to result in a, in a cost savings and in better health outcomes, uh, and that's going to be the payoff there.